So we've been here since 2007. The first lot of fencing we put in was hardwood timber. We were told that it'd be pretty good to withstand time. We didn't want to buy treated pine. Treated pine might have been okay, but then we've also had the issue of the, the horses chewing on the fence and I didn't really want them chewing on treated pine. When you drive past any property here, and there's big, you know, long standing fences. It looks like it should be there. And mm. that's what we expect it to look like here. We found out about this job by a phone call from the clients, Jenny and Robert. Jenny rang me and uh, said she was interested in some metal post and rail fencing. And I said, oh, do you know that's very expensive? They knew what they were talking about. First impressions of the Buckley's fencing system was it was impressive. It was a new product we hadn't handled before. It was very well manufactured, very well thought out. The finishes on each of the products were a lot higher end than we were probably used to dealing with. Very impressed with the system as soon as it turned up. The way they package every single piece was well thought out and well executed. The way we would approach this job, uh, we looked at it from a plan point of view. Stock and Noble provided a very detailed CAD style plan with a full cutting list for each paddock. So then all we did was we divided the project up into thirds. Yeah, we, we attacked it like we would any other job, but it was just a, the size of the project that had to be divided because there's so many metres in this job. Uh, the most challenging aspects on this job in particular, it was already set up as an existing horse property, so we were governed by existing fence layout pattern. The topography of the ground, this is a large sloping block going up and then peaking and then sloping back down towards the back. Some of the gate placements on this job are probably not ideal from an aesthetic point of view, however they work from a function point of view. The product comes from Melbourne and gets shipped to site, we try to drop it where it's required for each fence run. That was another challenge, just trying to save man hours handling and moving material. One of the other challenges, they've got eight horses on the property. We had to do the job in stages so that the horses still had somewhere safe to be secured each night.
would this product be compared to a hardwood timber fence? And it's a question we've had since we started this project and it, I don't think it can compare. It's a completely different product. The price point is obviously a little bit higher. With the lack of timber around at the moment in the current economy, it's we're leaning more towards sustainable products and this steel is also a recycled product. So it's not a single use product like timber. The posts are a lot longer and stronger than a timber post. Uh, they go in a lot further and uh, powder coated over a galvanised finish. So we're not dealing with rot, uh, we're not dealing with termites, things like that as we are in comparison to a hardwood fence. So yes, the initial cost might be a little bit higher, but the overall long-term benefits far outweigh the short-term price. One of the other main pros is that it's already painted, it's powder coated, it's a durable finish. A lot of horse properties like to paint their fences black or white. This comes in black and white, um, both slightly different finishes. The black being a textured powder coat and the white being a smooth semi-gloss finish. It's a far superior product over the, the timber. Um, the installing of it's very similar. The time frames it takes to install it's probably slightly faster with this product. Um, there's yeah, less environmental impact and less waste. that it looks fabulous and exactly how I expected it to look. If you want to go for something that's going to be as long lasting as this is going to be, then I'd have no problem in saying, yeah, speak to Stock and Noble.